Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to verify the game files. This is important. Do not ignore this. So go to library and then make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now, once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to delete the config file. Now for this open file explorer, go to documents and then over here, you will see WWE 2K25. Open this and over here you can see config file. Make a right click and then you can rename it whatever you want. So rename this config file. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686, open the Steam folder, Steam apps common, and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to system and security and then go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. Again, select the game exe file. Click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. So over here, you can see the game is already added. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, go to the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game. So click on browse local files and then this will take you to the game installation folder and then make a double click over here, launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, again go to properties, go to this tab and this time select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch options. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to general tab and then type in dash dx11 over here now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users, first of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver and then 
restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card, install the latest graphic card driver, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, so scroll down and find the game in the list. Once you find the game, click on the game over here and then over here you can see GPU preference. Now select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. Select high performance and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to close game exe in task manager if it's there and then try launching the game. So sometimes uh, the game is already running. So you can make a right click on the start menu, go to task manager. Now, if you see WWE 2K25 over here, you can just make a right click and then click on end task. In my case, it's not running, but if you see WWE 2K25, make a right click and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to delete crash pad file. Now, before you delete it, you can create a backup. So for this, you can just make a right click on the game, select properties manage sorry sir make a right click manage browse local files now over here you will see this crash pad file you can just create a backup first so copy this fo folder and then paste it to the desktop once you have you have a backup over here now you can go to the game installation folder and then make a right click and then you can delete this folder and then launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to close v mode or if you have any anti cheat programs like face it anti-cheat so close if you have any other anti-cheat program running you can close it and then check next step is to disconnect controller so before you launch the game disconnect the controller launch the game and then reconnect the controller once the game is up and running now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer which you are not using disconnect it Disconnect additional control. Sometimes we have extra controller connected like USB dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Now also if you have undervolt 3D computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to disable Steam overlay. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Also if you have discord running you can turn off overlay in discord settings if you have ge force experience running or if you have nvidia app running in that case you can open nvidia app go to settings over here and then you can turn off this nvidia overlay and then check go to graphics option if you see the game over here so i don't see the game over here let me check if i can add the game So over here, uh, if you see the game over here and if you see optimize option, in my case, uh, I think the game is not supported. But if uh, the game is supported and if you see this optimize option like this for WWE 2K25, you can do it or else you can skip this step. Now, the next step is to close also close all the other overlay application you can simply close overlay application and then check also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running on your computer then you can just close it so if this is running you can close it if you have reva tuner running you can just close reva tuner so sometimes uh, it is hidden so you can click on this up arrow it's hidden over here so make a right click on MSI afterburner and then close it. If you have Reva tuner running, you can close it or you can close, close all the overclocking applications. So if you have any other overclocking application, close it. Perform clean boot. Now to perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab, put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services, then click on disable all and then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to now for amd users you can install this amd optional update that is 
you can search in Google, go to AMD website and you can install this, scroll down, you can install this AMD 25.2.1 optional update, click on it. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file, restart your computer and then launch the game. Still not working in that case, you can even try to install this AMD 25.1.1 optional update. Again, in Google search, you can just search this update, go to AMD website only, and then you can click on this file, run this file, click on it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try debug mode in NVIDIA control panel. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select show more option, go to NVIDIA control panel. And then at the top left over here, you can see help option, hit click on help and then select debug mode. So make sure debug mode is checked and then you can check. Next step is to try launching the game on big picture mode. So over here at the top right on Steam, you will see enter big picture mode icon, click on it. And once, now once the Steam is in big picture mode, now you can, you can just launch the game from here. You can click on play and then check. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 two, four, five, seven, six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte. Now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three, that is 49152 49152 49115 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file this is important so you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download this x86 and x64 so download both the file x86 and x64 and then you can run both the files x64 and if you see the repair click on repair you might see install if you see install click on install click on yes to allow run this second file that is x86 file repair or install and then click on yes and let the installation complete make sure both are installed close it and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check
next step is to update your windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update and security in windows settings and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer make sure that your windows is up to date like right now w i n v e r winver latest version is version 24h2 so make sure that you update your windows to version 24h2 and then launch the game next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number and then install the latest bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer and during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can just make a right click manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to any other drive like e drive f drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd it should be ssd and then launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel